Hey, what's up guys? This is Steel Rain and welcome back to my channel. And uh, before we get started guys, I'm going to go ahead and say sorry about the lack of content here recently. I was real busy with the holiday season and uh, my computer decided to crash on top of that. So anyway, anyways guys, uh, happy New Year's to you. And uh, today we're going to be looking at the Flight Club Proton Racing Frame. Now, this frame I think is going to be one of the best frames out there for 2018 racing season. It just has everything going for it. And um, basically what we're going to do today is take a look at it. And then instead of building it up, we're going to go ahead and tear it down from its built up status. So what we're going to go ahead and do right off the bat is get a weight of this bad boy here. Turn on the scales here. Let's go ahead and zero it out just for And as it sits right now, you guys will see it sits at 79 grams. Now, it comes with a bunch of different options, and of course you're not going to run it like this. So, it comes with these little TPU FBV camera mounts. So, we'll go ahead and add those in, because of course you're going to need a mount. Brings it up to 80 grams. And it also comes with this little rear TPU antenna, antenna mount for the, uh, the Luminaire Axi antenna, which most guys are using nowadays. Uh, I think this thing weighs about three or four grams, so we'll add it in. And this also slides over the back standoffs. Brings it up to about 83, 84 grams. And one more thing we're going to add, because everybody uses a lipo strap, which also comes with it. So we'll go ahead and add that into the, into the mix. So 86 grams, you know, pretty good considering what, what this frame is, is built from. Its main plate is, uh, the, it's called the nucleus uh, aluminum plate. Uh, it's pretty much the brains of this this thing and I'll go ahead and flash up some pictures on the screen right now It is very innovative. It's made of aluminum of course So it's pretty much going to be for the most part indestructible and um, you know Basically it, it what it does is it allows for easy arm changes and Keeps the stack the center stack totally independent of arm changes. It makes it really easy plus the the aluminum plate is threaded, so there's no nuts to actually, you know, to thread into. So the bolts, they're countersunk on the bottom. We'll go ahead and take a look at that. As you can see there, it's countersunk on the bottom, and the bottom plate is also beveled. So it keeps it nice and clean, allows for a full-size stack or a 20 by 20 stack. Also gives you a hole here in case you want to mount a receiver of any sort. And... Um, so we'll go ahead and start taking this thing apart and show you guys exactly how this thing is made. Everything is assembled with a 2 millimeter screwdriver. Really simple and easy frame to take apart. Almost done here, guys. So there's the top plate. Looks to be about two millimeters. What I'm going to go ahead and do is get out my calipers and get a good measurement of it here. Go ahead and turn the calipers on. Zeroed out right now. And we're looking at about two millimeters for the top plate. Now, as you guys could see here, I don't know if you could tell with the light, I'll try to get it here. The arms and everything is totally independent and screwed in down below. So if you break an arm, all you got to do is pop these two screws out, which are screwed into this aluminum plate here. And I tried to screw in really hard and there was no stripping happening to this, this build. It's really rigid, doesn't flex much at all. And what I like about this, guys, is you could see here. There's a couple holes right here that go straight through this bottom plate, straight through the arms, and it keeps these stack mounts totally, if you see here, that comes with these little orange gummies, and it keeps everything, you know, completely soft mounted. It, they don't back out and everything, you know, I think really innovative. And as you can see here on the inside, there's a 20 by 20 stack holes there if you want to run a 20 by 20 uh, micro stack. So pretty, pretty simple and easy. 
go ahead and take the standoffs off now. All right, there goes the standoffs. Pretty easy to take off. And what we'll go ahead and do, take one of the arms off here real quick and I'll show you how easy this thing is to change an arm. So there's one. Really nice for the racers. Just two screws, that arm pops out. Really simple and easy. All right, guys, I went ahead and saved you guys the pain of watching me take that thing apart since it takes a while, but here's the main brain, the aluminum, uh, I guess basically the the main brain of this, this frame and everything that it attaches to. And as you can see here, it's got these little gummies that just go on here, and they're threaded in through the bottom now the arms, what they do, as you can see, there's a, a big hole in the arm plus two small holes. And it goes right there to allow you access to the stack, but also doesn't interfere with arm changes since it sits down here in this groove. Uh, pretty pretty in innovative uh, frame that I've seen, you know, one of the most, I think this is, thing is going to be pretty popular for 2018. So we'll go ahead and get some measurements here. So it looks like the main stack aluminum plate here is about three millimeters. The bottom plate, three millimeters as well. And the arms look to be four millimeters. We'll get a measurement of a couple of these. There you go, four millimeters. We'll get another one just for just for redundancy here, 4.09. So pretty cool, pretty awesome idea here. I think these guys have nailed it pretty much for this racing frame. Um, it also comes in numerous different versions if you look at their website. It comes like this. This is a skeletonized frame that came with the standoffs and the top plate. It also comes in canopy version. And what you guys will notice too here is the design up here of the top plate allows for a GoPro. Now it just bolts onto the two front here and it's got a nub down here that slides into this this uh, big square and then it slides back to lock it in. Pretty good idea there as well if you want to carry a GoPro on your setup. So you know overall guys it's a pretty nice frame. I'm loving it so far. Personally I think I'm gonna run it with a with an all-in-one ESC flight controller stack and these motors I'll be having coming out soon. Uh, review on the Brother Hobby uh, R5 2207 2700 kV motors. I think this thing is going to absolutely scream with these motors. So I mean, a lot of a lot of good things. I didn't mention price. Uh, I got this for fifty dollars on pre-order, but uh, right now I think it's hovering around sixty to sixty-five dollars from Flight Club. So you guys go ahead and check it out, and uh, that's pretty much going to be it for this review. Check out their uh, website for links. Check the video's description for links as well. And uh, that's pretty much going to be it, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like, and share. And uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the normal place below. And um, keep an eye out for this thing. I should be having a build video come out within the next two weeks. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you next time.